Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Different, um, and if you're watching this, welcome to Different Swirl, the first video log to my YouTube channel in connection to my website, differentswirl.net. Uh, second off, I'd like to say I hope everybody's having a great day and they're getting everything that they want out of life. And if not, don't worry, you will. Uh, secondly, with this being the first video uh, log on the channel, definitely want to hit a couple of topics. Um, one, just want to let you know who I am. Two, uh, what my company, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, is all about. Three, then we'll be talking about the products and services that we provide to the public, as well as the main project that we have going on, and which in subsequent led us here, and why I'm talking to you guys today. Uh, yeah, so jumping right into it, like I said, my name is Different, spelled D-I-F, oh, excuse me, D-I-E, can you spell my own name? Damn. Uh, oops, sorry, I cussed. I said I wasn't going to, but you know what? You know, fuck it. I'm going to be me. What you see is what you get. I'm going to give you the real me, the real deal. Um, yeah, so with that being said, um, my name is Different, spelled D-I-F-E-R-N-T. Yeah, I know it's different. Um, I was born um, in Houston, Texas, fifth ward to be exact. Um, I'm 30 years old. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius, so that pretty much sums it up about me, <laughs> if you will. Uh, no. Um, what else? What else about me? Um, I guess I guess anywhere my story again, I guess, is uh, a little bit of my backstory, I guess. Um, I guess where let's see, story began with when I was 11 years old, I guess I ended up in... Um, being homeless, and uh, I don't remember how or, or why it happened. I just remember um, being picked up from school one day and thinking I was heading home, but ended up going to a hotel. And it ended up staying that way for about three years and such. And um, we basically, you know, lived from pillow to post, sleeping everywhere from cars to parks, bus stops, um, shelters, strangers' houses, even a crack house, um, you name it, for, for, for three years, you know. Um, I went through that. <clears throat> And by the time I was 14, I was secretly placed in foster care. And for the first six months, um, I tried my hardest to come home. Um, I didn't know any one of my family members' phone number. I just remembered their names. So my caseworker, I would just be giving their names and tell her, hey, look this person up, find out their number. That's my aunt. That's some of this and that. And so for six months, I did that. And then um, I found out that the state of Texas pays for uh, kids who age out of foster care, they pay for their tuition, coll their college tuition uh, fees to be waived. And so um, right then and there, a light bulb went out in my head and um, I just had to use my street smarts to elevate my book smarts and just made the decision to stay and, and do four years and, and being in the system and being shuffled around and, and that I did quite a few, but in, in the end, it was worth it. Um, because I went to uh, Sam Houston State University. I'm a proud alumni to them, so shout out to the Bearcats. Also a member of the Beta Theta, Beta Theta chapter of Phi Chi Theta, so uh, shout out to the Phi Chi Thetas. Um, also, um, let's see, I got a bachelor's degree in international business as well as two minors in business communication and economics. Um, I also have a master's degree in entrepreneurship and I am a Texas real estate agent. So um, as you can see, I'm a woman with many hats and I'm, I've always been that type of person, even though through my trials and tribulations, I've just always been that type of person that just tr triumphs through it and, and, and comes out on top. Um, and so that's a part of the reason why um, I have this website and, and I provide these products and services to the public. Um, and so let's see what else that that's pretty much in a nutshell my backstory let's talk about who I am as a person and, and what I'm all about um, let's see as you can see if you can't tell um, my favorite color is purple uh, let's see right here usually my hair is purple but it's not I've got blue um, I'm real real big on um, what they I got serious about it um, a couple of years like three years ago about um, just understanding uh, the more spiritual side of of myself and that means you know um, meditating and praying and, and making sure that my chakra is cleansed and, and that my aura is, is exuberating positive energies out into the universe um, I'm really big on you know, putting out good karma into the universe and because what you do it comes back on you I've, I've, I've witnessed that I, I can attest to it on the both on both ends 
Um, so I, I just try to put good out into the world. Um, in the past, I wasn't the type. I was the type of person that um, I, I was. Uh, how can you put it? Like a gullible individual that uh, if somebody's negative vibe or energy would rub off on me, I would pass it on to somebody else. And so I had to stop that and get to a point to where I can gain control of myself and work on myself and and fix myself from the inside out. Um, and that happened for me when I got real with myself and, and admitted, you know, that I needed to fix my past issues. Um, I guess coming up, um, how can I put this? Um, uh, in, in, in the culture, the black culture, we're taught, most of us are taught, um, what goes on in this house stays in this house. So you don't talk about your issues that happen at home. You don't, you just basically keep it bottled up, you know, sweep it on the rug and move on. And so um, it, it wasn't that like I was in denial or, 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 you know, was afraid. It was just a point of, you know, that's just what I was taught. It's nobody's business, you know, so why do I need to go talk with a therapist? And so um, that's what it was for me. That's how I was able to, you know, really um, get in tune with myself is when I admitted that, you know, I needed to fix my issues. I always knew that I was meant for greatness and, and was supposed to do something big in the world, but I wasn't able to do so because I was stopping me. I was my biggest enemy um, and I had to fix that. And so um, I had to dismiss that notion that black people don't do therapy and I took my ass to therapy. And it, it led to something so beautiful and I'm so proud of it and I'm, I'm glad that I did. And I, I encourage others, uh, a main part of our service is promoting and educating and motivating others to, you know, better themselves, be it, you know, physically, health-wise, health, health -wise, mental-wise, physically, whatever it is, financial, you know, get yourself in, in shape. And, and whatever you want in life, you can do. You just have to plan, prepare, and manifest that shit. It can happen for you. That's exactly what happened for me. Um, and so, and I'll get into that a little long in the video. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me in a nutshell, what I, what I, what I love to do as, as far as, um, like just what I wake up and live and breathe, you know, making sure, you know, uh, my horse dance, if you see, I got my little chakra pendulum and my little amethyst chart. I always keep like my little amethyst with me. I keep my third eye, if you will, and my crown clear in my thinking, you know, because once you have your mind right, you can get your heart right. And that's what happened for me. And um, I just want to lead by example. Before I leave this earth, I want my life to be, you know, example of how um, no matter what, how many opportunities you've squandered in life, you know, God can still use you. You know, he can take you from the back and put you right up front just like that, you know. Um, and um, with that being said, I, I just definitely want to note, uh, you will hear me talk about God in and out all my videos. So whatever you see me do, God is in me. But however, um, I don't claim any religion. So don't expect me to say I'm a Christian or I'm Christ-like. I just know that I serve and believe in God. And so um, that being said, uh, moving on to, I guess, my hobbies. What else I like to do? I like reading, writing. Uh, I'm a very adventurous person, as you can see. Like I said, I'm a Sagittarius, so I love to travel. Um, before the pandemic, I, I, I love, I traveled all over. I can't give you like a, a Pacific number, but I know I do know it's close to 50 countries that I've been to now. Um, and so, uh, what else I like to do uh, before the pandemic? I did a lot. It's it just, you know, the, the pandemic stopped me from doing a lot, but now I'm getting back at it and I can't even give you so much name, but go to my website. It has more information at differenceworld.net. Um, so what else? Yeah, those are my hobbies. That's who I am, what I'm about, uh, my backstory. And so now that you know that, let's move on to um, the second part of why I'm here to talk to you guys about my company, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. Uh, what we are about and what we provide. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, Third Eye Entertainment is a company that provides educational yet entertainment services and products to the public. Um, and, um, excuse me. <clears throat> Work with me, y'all. This is my first video. I've never done YouTube before. I've never been that type of person that's like 
on like social media I have social media but I'm like not into social media like that so um, work with me please I, I will get better in time um, <clears throat> sorry what was I look at my papers I have little notes to keep me on track um, yes so Third Eye Entertainment we're a company that provide educational yet entertainment services and products uh, and one of the main products that we provide uh, to the public is a book, a published book that uh, I'm offering, which we're now moving on into. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping a little ahead. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, wish I could edit this out, but oh well, like I said, what you see is what you get. You know, th this is me, this is different. Welcome to Difference World. Uh, trial and error, I'm human. Um, so let's talk about the services side of uh, Third Eye Entertainment as far as services side will provide. Uh, what we provide to the public and services side is um, public speaking and motivational speaking. Uh, where that stemmed from, when I was a student at Sam Houston, I founded a student organization titled Paid For It. Uh, what that consisted of three sections of uh, education, volunteering, and mentorships to the youth uh, in, in trouble, excuse me, that were in foster care as well as just the youth in general. So um, a part of the educational side is we used to go to me and a group of other, not just me, but a group of other college kids, we would go to different high schools uh, between the Huntsville, Conroe, Houston, the Woodlands, um, any high school that would have us, we visited. Um, speaking to the juniors and seniors about uh, furthering their education and the importance of it and motivating them to do so. And so um, that part has always been with me. Even in high school, um, I wasn't, um, uh, I guess, how do you say that? I wasn't popular. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, you know, uh, like the, how do you say that? can't look that word right now, but like I said, uh, difference world. This is what you see is what you get. I'm sorry. Um, um, but in high school, um, I was just a very quiet person to myself. I, I guess put a word to it, I was a nerd. Still am. Very proud of it. I wear my nerd bed proudly. However, um, if you will ask anybody about me, uh, I was that nerd that was, was not to be played with, if you will. So people knew that, you know, I love to read. I was very smart. Uh, but they knew not to play with me and bully me about that. So I never had that type of issue coming up. But um, I didn't have those type of talents as far as like with uh, basketball, volleyball. And so um, I had to find something that was tailored to me. And uh, public speaking, um, how I ended up doing that, I got in debate. The team was full. However, uh, spelling the UIL team, it was still open. And I used to do it. When I was in elementary, I did spelling bee. So um, you're looking at the real Keely and the bee. Yeah. Kiki, you stole my life, girl. But um, yeah, so that's how the public side, public speaking side comes about. And so if any of um, anybody uh, needs me to speak at any events or would like to have me on uh, any of their podcasts, um, talking about uh, as well as just not with motivation speaking we'll have other topics that we talk about and I'll get into that in a second um, so we offered that as well as we offered published material as well as video logs regarding travel and review services and that's the entertaining side of that but more importantly we provide on the educational side we definitely talk about issues that are I guess if you consider them taboo those issues that often like to be swept under the rug or denied that they're still alive and well um, issues like um, mental health women's rights child advocacy um, gay rights, um, spiritual wellness, uh, what else, animal rights, you name it. But most importantly, the most important topic that we do talk about and promote and encourage is uh, change for systemic uh, racism in America. And so, which leads me to uh, the next topic, the main project while we're here and while I'm talking to you guys, da 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 da, but I kind of got ahead of myself a little earlier. Uh, my book, What If. And so uh, I have a book titled What If. Uh, it's detailed in, in regards to the systemic racism. Uh, it's in the form of a reverse role. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Race revolt. That's a tongue twister right there. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm not even going to try that. Um, but y'all need to know what the book is about, so I guess I do. So, What If, a, par a controversial paradigm shift 
is a book about systemic racism in regards to a race for role versus and a paradigm shift of four categorized paradigms, either not either, but precedent, historical, political, and uh, hypothetical. Uh, and these issues uh, provide provocative illustrations uh, to promote and encourage thought-provoking conversations about systemic racism. So, for example, we ask questions about what if, you know, George Floyd was a white man and a black man had his foot on his neck? What if, you know, in 1619, Africans started dealing their slave trade and then brought Englishmen to America? Uh, you know, questions like that and uh, it provides illustrations to uh, just to peel back the curtain and, and, and show, you know, what if the roles were switched, if you will. That's a better word for it. <laughs> um, so with that being said, uh, I have a book trailer available that um, if you like, check it out. I, I think you would. Um, and on our Juneteenth, ha ha ha, it's finally a fair holiday. Um, and so uh, I don't want to give too much detail into it. Uh, I'd rather have the book trailer speak for itself. So uh, with that being said, I'm just going to end that part with that and say check out the book trailer for more information. The book will be available August 2021. In addition to the book, as far as the product side of what Third Eye Entertainment LLC provides, uh, in addition to the book, the products that we provide are uh, coffee mugs, backpacks, t-shirts, sweatpants, um, other merchandise that I can't name. It's a list. But again, go to differenceworld.com and then you'll see the list there. You'll have more information. But we, all, we, we provide those merchandise. Uh, in addition to the book, what if so, uh, it will have like illustrations, uh, excerpts from the book um, to promote uh, and, and, and motivate thought provoking conversations about systemic racism. And again, I just like to disclose to you guys this book was not written to um, uh, incite any type of violence or, or prejudice against uh, any type of races or specific groups. Again, it was just specifically written to uh, encourage for those, I guess. Where it all came from is, is, is last year um, when George Floyd died, you know, we all saw, you know, when, you know, the, the police officer had his knee on his foot, excuse me, his knee on his neck. And, you know, um, him being from the same place that I'm from, I wanted to go to the protest. I wanted to go to his funeral. However, the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, me going there in that time, that wasn't going to last. I needed something, my, my voice to be heard for, for, for years to come, even when I'm dead and gone. I want my voice to be around to be able to still be heard. Um, and so I had to pray on it and ask God, what should I do? Even uh, in such, you know, he started to show me signs in little, little piece by little. And uh, it just came to me in a dream. And, and, and a long time ago when I was 13 and going through what I was going through, I told myself I was going to write a book. And um, lo and behold, you know, 15, 20 years later, here I am writing a book. Um, so like I said, just got to manifest, you know, you may not even know that you're doing it, but you know, it's power in the tongue, you know, what you say it comes to life. So if you, if you believe in yourself and you know that you, you know, you have a goal in life and you're going to make it, then that's all you have to say. Don't, don't let that negativity into your mind, your thoughts, none of that, you know, just, just stay focused on what it is that you want to do, you know, plan, prepare and manifest and it will come to you in due season. It will be hard. Uh, you will have a whole, a lot of setbacks, but in the end, it will work out for you. Uh, I'm living proof of that. And I think this book will be proof. Like I said, God, he can take you from the back and put you right up front. I think with my book, it will do just that. Uh, it'll open up a lot of eyes. Um, it, it'll, it'll get, get a lot of people talking about it, whether they're talking about it good or bad, they're going to talk about it. Um, one thing about it, you know, once a bell has been rung, you can't unring it. And so, um, yeah, that's just basically, you know, how that, that came about um, with the book. Sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, so with that being said, uh, check out the book trailer uh, to What If. Again, it'll be available on stores, uh, uh, on, excuse me, on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, as well as my website, differentworlds.net, in August 2021, as well as the merchandise will be available on my website only. 
uh, in August 2021. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. I'm going to close this out. I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, yeah, um, so in conclusion, um, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys like what I have to offer. I hope you enjoy. Please share um, the videos in my book trailer of What If, A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Uh, like us on Facebook at Third Eye LLC. Uh, we're on uh, Instagram at Third Eye. I'll put it at the bottom or whatever. Third Eye and E N T underscores whatever. Like I said, y'all don't don't make fun of me. I, I I'm all I can do is just post on. Uh, really get all into the social media. So I don't know how to explain all it to you. I just do it, if you will. Um, but yeah, like us on Facebook. I'm also on Clubhouse too. So, uh, the audio podcast, I'll be having, uh, weekly discussions there. You can follow me there at different, uh, as well as what else, what else? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Um, and just don't forget, you know, whatever you want in life, you know, plan, prepare and manifest that shit. It can come, it can happen for you. So with that being said, thank you guys. Have a good day. Um, and, and, and welcome to Difference World. Now that I'm here, I have arrived, don't worry, I'm not going nowhere until they give my ancestors a 40 acres and a mule, which will be on the 15th of February, so I'm here to stay. (laughs) So with that being said, y'all have a good day, and um, yeah, stay tuned. Bye.